Now we'll take a look at a percent of decrease problem, with the old being 112 and the new is 50. However, the procedure remains exactly the same. We continue using that old over 100 equals new over x formula. So I have 112 over 100 equals 50 over x. The next step is to cross multiply and to solve for x. So I have 112 times x and 50 times 100. 112 times x is 112x. 50 times 100 becomes 5,000. And again, we just add two zeros to the list. Now to solve for x, we have to divide by 112. And when I take 5,000 and divide by 112, we obtain a result of 44. Now, remember, after this step, we subtract 100. And when I do 44.64 minus 100, the result is negative 55.36. And remember, the concluding step is to take the absolute value. So when I take the absolute value of negative 55.36, it becomes simply positive 55.36. And that is the percentage of decrease in this problem.